Well, fam, Robotaxi was revealed as well as the Optimus robot. And the reception was mixed. Quite a bit of bad reception and good. So sit tight, strap in. I'm going to break everything down for you. Don't worry about smashing the like button, subscribing, or joining the Discord and the live one-on-one -on -one coaching. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Let's listen to what Elon Musk has to say about Robotaxi, and I will break it all down for you and explain why this is very dangerous. And this is an urgent warning. It's good for investors, but as people, things could get really bad. So let's hear what Elon has to say first, and we'll dive into breaking everything everything down. Uh, we want to have a fun, exciting future that if you could look in a crystal ball and see the future, you'd be like, yes, I wish I could be there now. That's what we want. So, so when we think about transport today, there's a lot of kind of pain that we take for granted that we think is normal, um, like having to <laughs> drive around LA uh, in like three hours of traffic. Um, yeah, and for people that live in LA, I mean, you know, try to get from uh, Pasadena to, you know, El Segundo during rush hour. It's like, you can fly to, you know, another city faster than you can get to cross town LA. So, and you have to drive the whole way. Uh, unless you're in a Tesla, of course. Now, Tesla already uh, does quite well at this, uh, you know, supervised self-driving. So, supervised full self-driving self is actually working quite well. For, I'm sure there's... People in the crowd, you're using that, uh, yeah? So it, we'll move from supervised full self-driving to uns unsupervised full self-driving, where the car, you could, you could fall asleep and wake up at your destination. So in, in fact, we, we, I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price, because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of a uh, cyber cab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. Yeah. And I think there'll be an interesting, um, you know, business model where, like, let's say somebody is an, uh, you know, Uber or Lyft driver today, uh, it, they, where they can actually sort of manage a fleet of cars and like a sort of manage, I don't know, 10, 20 cars and just sort of you know, take care of them like a, like a shepherd uh, tends their flock. You have a little your flock of cars and you're the shepherd and you take care of your flock of cars. We do expect actually to, st to start uh, fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. And that, that's obviously, that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. And then we, we, we expect to be in production with the, the Cyber Cab, that, which is really um, hi, highly optimized for autonomous transport uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames. Um, but but in, to, in, in 2026. So, yeah. Before 2027, let me put it that way. Um, and uh, we'll make this, this vehicle in very high volume. And, um, but well before that, you will, you will experience the, uh, a robotic taxi via the Model 3 and Model Y program. And Model S and X too. Uh, but uh, the, the model, the, the th your 3 and Y will, be, uh, will achieve uh, unsupervised full self-driving um, with, with permission in wherever regulators essentially approve it in the U.S. and then to, and then to follow in uh, outside the U.S. So, and it's Cybertruck too, yes, of course, sorry, I don't want to be, yes, 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 all our cars, uh, basically, um, all cars that we make. The computer can be so much better than a person is that we have millions of cars that are training uh, in, on driving, so it's like, it's like living millions of lives simultaneously and seeing very unusual s situations that a person in their entire lifetime would not see, but, 
hopefully. Um, yeah, exactly. So, it's, it's, so with, with that amount of training data, it's obviously going to be much better than what a human could be, because um, you can't live a million lives. Um, and it's also, it can see in all directions simultaneously, and it doesn't get tired or, or text or any of those things. So uh, it will naturally be, like, like I said, uh, 10, 20, 30 times safer than a human, just um, for all those reasons. The Model 3 and Model Y and SNX that we make today will be capable of full autonomy unsupervised. Um, and, and that means that our cost of producing the vehicle is, is low. So you heard everything Elon had to say. Very interesting stuff. I'm going to break it down for you. Before we dive into this Terminator apocalyptic world covered with robots that we're about to enter, if you guys are looking to expand your portfolio and your knowledge, you want to learn, I want to help you guys be able to achieve some financial freedom for yourself. If you want to retire early or you just want to be more profitable in the market, I would love to help you, fam. I offer a full Discord training course and one-on-one -on -one coaching. Guys can sign up at investacory.com. Links in the information box below. I've had people ask where to go to do this. They've had trouble navigating to the website, investquarry.com. You can click on case studies right here and hear from different students that have made exponential growth and profits in my Discord and with my coaching. But you can also go up here and click on training. And this video explains everything. I don't have that kind of time right now. I don't want to waste your time in this Tesla video, but you can click on this video right here and then register and book a call with me and my team so we can help you grow your financial freedom. I have students that have taken 8,000 to 18,000 in three months and others that have went from 30 to 60,000 and I have students that went from 300k to 400k in the same amount of time. I would love to help you. If this sounds like something you guys want and you want to take control of your financial freedom, I would love to help you. If you show up committed, ready to learn, I show up committed, ready to teach you so that you guys can have good results for yourself. I'll see you guys soon. So you heard what Elon Musk said. You're going to be able to get a full self-driving, unsupervised robo-taxi for about $30,000 in the long term and cutting the cost of travel from a dollar a mile to 20 or 30 cents a mile is pretty incredible. He also said in 2025, he plans to have robo-taxi fully launched in Texas and California. And by the end of 2026, early 2027, every Everywhere else as long as they can get state approvals 29 states plus Washington DC have pretty strict mandates with the self-driving so hopefully they will pass those mandates and get approvals and certificates whatever they need in order to have the robo taxi in those states another great thing what Elon Musk said is the model Y and three as well as the S and the X will all get updated including the Cybertruck meaning you will have unsupervised full self-driving the ability to fall asleep and wake up at your destination. This is pretty cool because the full self-driving in Tesla a year ago, maybe two years ago, wasn't the greatest, but recently over the last six months, it's pretty good. And although you have to supervise it, it does drive very accurately. Everywhere I've been in a Tesla Model 3, it's been able to avoid obstacles, drive through parking lots, with almost no issues whatsoever and they're only improving that over time so in six months to a year or more when they implement this update over the air to the model threes model y's s's x's and Cybertruck, it's going to be even better than it is right now significantly better every update is pretty significant and this is going to be six months to a year or more as an investor this is a really big deal because when you invest in tesla you're investing in an ev company an autonomous driving company, AI, data acquisition, SpaceX, X, and Optimus Robots. You're getting a very big package here. To be quite honest, if RoboTaxi launches in 2025, like Elon says it will, even if it's in small segments and sectors across the country and their earnings get better between now and summer, the stock is going to rise drastically. And when they launch the robots and the full self-driving robo taxi in 2026 and 2027, if that goes well, it's going to go up even more drastically. You also have to understand that the Model 3, Model Y, Model S, as well as the X and the Cybertruck are going to get over there updates for basically unsupervised full self-driving. So that's going to happen in 2025 into 2026 and the robo taxis in California and Texas. So between that and good earnings, we could honestly, realistically see a two or three X return over 
over the next two to three years on Tesla. When the robots launch and RoboTaxi launches in 2027, and that's a full launch and it becomes more available, more affordable, pushing from 2027 into 2023, I don't see this being very hard for Tesla to run back up to a thousand. This could be a five to 10x return. But then again, if anything goes wrong with RoboTaxi or the robots, it could spell disaster. Now, as far as the robots are concerned, Elon, you have got to make sure that these robots have a fail safe and we have some way to make them weaker than the people in the households that the robots live in. Because we've seen the movies before. We don't want Optimus running around, ripping our spine out, you know, breaking our hands, kicking our legs out from underneath us, locking us in the basement. We've seen iRobot. We've seen Terminator. We don't want this to happen. This scares the living crap out of me because if these robots are stronger than us, they're just going to be able to take control of our house. And this is the one scare scary part about this. Elon's made it so affordable that everybody will have a robo taxi, $30,000. Optimus, $30,000. If he makes it abundant and everybody has it, it's only going to take a flick of the switch, whether it's intentional or a mistake, unintentional, and pretty much the whole country will be in turmoil. Imagine if your neighbor's robot decides to go rogue, comes across the street and starts trouble with your robot and they start fighting in the middle of the yard. Is there a warranty on that? What if someone else's robot goes rogue and smashes in the window of your car? What if someone else's robot goes rogue, comes across the street and starts fighting with you? Like th these are things that very well could happen. We've seen the movies, but it's usually not the generation one that causes these problems in the movies. It's usually generation two and generation three, like iRobot. So maybe it's something that will happen later on down the line. You don't know. I don't know. We don't know. But in all seriousness, as investors into the stock, if something goes wrong with any of these robots, that's going to be it. I mean, that, that would be the end of Tesla, in my opinion. If someone got hurt from a robot, I don't see how the stock would do well. It, that would be a problem. So hopefully they got this in order. But let's listen to the robot talk and what Elon has to say about that. To be able to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty dollars to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids. It can walk your dog, mow your lawn get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. I, I predict actually, provided we address risks of digital superintelligence, 80% uh, will, 80% probability of good, a good outcome. <laughs> Look on the bright side. Um, the cup is 80% full. Um, the cost of products and services will decline dramatically. And basically, anyone will be able to have any products and services they, they want. It will be an age of abundance, the likes of which people have not, almost no one has envisioned. It'll be something special. Say hi to my friend John. John? Where's John? Right here. Oh, hello, John. How are you? How are you doing? That, Very good. It's crazy. Where I'm talking to a robot uh, from San Jose, probably San from where you were from where you were born in uh, the that, Silicon that's Valley. Wonderful. Where do you live in San Jose? Do you well, live in Almond Valley or do you live in the yeah. Santa Teresa area? No, I live in Los Gatos. Los Gatos. Oh, wonderful. That's yeah. A nice area. Where do you live? Beautiful hiking out here out there. There is. Where do you live? Um, I live in Palo Alto at the current moment. Figures. Yeah. This yes. is. This is awesome. That's where they train us, that's where we get our builds, and that's where we work with a wonderful group of people. What's the hardest thing about being a robot? Uh, trying to learn how to be as human as you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something I try harder to do every day, and I hope that you will help us become that. Well, awesome. Nice to meet you, Optimus. I was very impressed with the robots, Optimus, and their ability to demonstrate, I guess you could say, somewhat human-like ability to interact with other people. And what's scary about this is how quickly it's moving along. Now, you see, this is awesome. I would love to have one of these robots cut my lawn, clean my yard, do my dishes so I can spend more time with the kids. This is all well and good. And it's good as an investor, too. And with Tesla's Optimus robots, this is becoming a reality. If things keep going the way they're going right now in a year, 
year or two, we're going to have robots everywhere. And if you don't want one and you don't believe in it, odds are someone on your street and your neighborhood is going to have one. So in the coming years, whether you agree with it or like it, it's not really going to matter. Someone else will, and they're going to be walking among us at some point or another. The scary part is, is Elon going to have some type of kill switch, fail safe switch where you can just tick them off? Uh, this way they can't, you know, come after you or hurt you if something goes wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a little bit, you know, I don't know, paranoid about this situation. It's great as an investor, as long as everything works. You even heard what Elon said, 80% cup full, meaning there's a 20% chance they're having difficulty somewhere with managing the robot going rogue or independent. And that's something we don't need and don't want to happen. But if this isn't the case, then it's a very good investment. Tesla is the way of the future, and they're pretty much partnered with NVIDIA. The only real way that an investment in Tesla right now won't work out is obviously if the company goes bankrupt, which is never going to happen. The only other way I can see it being a losing position if you invest now, two to three years down the road, is if someone gets hurt by these robo-taxis or robots. If something like that happens where things get out of control, then yes, but at that point, money won't matter. We'll have a bunch of Optimus robots running around, ripping our limbs off and crushing our skulls and ripping our spines out. So it really won't matter. But in all seriousness, I really think Elon did a good job and the demonstration was nothing short of exceptional. And in my opinion, it blew me away. I was very impressed and... I want to point out, someone actually said that they think that someone was communicating via intercom on the robots. This is honestly, in my opinion, highly unlikely because there were people there that vouched that there were multiple robots in multiple different areas talking at the exact same time, saying different things with the same exact voice. So it's like 90% or 95%, probably even higher than that, unlikely that anybody was talking via an intercom. Now, what I was saying before I pointed that out was, you know, I grew up watching Terminator iRobot. This was very exciting. I never would have dreamed as a kid in the future, I would see in my lifetime robots walking amongst us and doing things for us let alone the opportunity to invest my money into the company providing these services if the movies have taught us anything about this we've also learned that these become multi-trillion dollar companies tens of trillions of dollars meaning if you invest now in 10 15 20 years down the road you might even be a billionaire who knows but realistically speaking there'd be a lot of financial returns because this really is the future and people want new tech and they want to make their life easier and that's what all of this does and tesla incorporates the driving the robots and the ai and the data to acquisition all in one. And so if you invest in Tesla right now, virtually no risk for future guidance. One to two, three years out, highly unlikely the stock is lower than it is right now. In fact, it's most likely a two, three or four X return. So if you're looking to have a solid investment for three to five years down the road, things are starting to look like Tesla very well could be your bet. Just do your due diligence and be safe. 10% of your position size, no more. And this is what I teach in my coaching. If you guys want to sign up for coaching, Discord, and full training course, I would love to have you and help you guys achieve your financial goals, maybe early retirement. You guys can sign up at investacory.com right there in the bottom underneath this video. The link will be there. Hope to see you guys soon. That's going to do it for this video. We'll catch you on the next one. One love, fam.